Yet you're still on to the economy today. And today, yesterday, the interview we have been trying to have uh, all this while, but today, we'll, bless God, uh, the network is quite good. So I have with me online to discuss uh, the student alone, uh, Abdul Latif uh, Ishawa, a political analyst. Uh, hello. Uh, so, hello, yes, uh, um, uh, Abdul Latif, uh, I know you know so much about uh, the student alone, but let us look at it critically right now. Uh, do you think, uh, first of all, the loan itself, is it is it coming at the right time? Is the government sincere with, you know, the setup? And can students actually apply for this loan with all the whole, um, you know, criteria involved around it? Uh, well, <laughs> thank you very much for having me. Um, talking about um the loan and its timing mm. um, there can be no better time than now uh, government has just come in i mean new government has just come in and uh, they have to a big circle to the nigerian citizens uh, especially after removing a full subsidy mm. that has really affected the economy uh, and um uh, even style, even style. The kind of money I spend these days on fall uh, is alarming. But notwithstanding, the, the, the basic problem we have is, is that uh, when government comes in place, they are in task thinking of how they can bring palliative, how they can bring soccer to a, a policy they had long seen that would be implemented. So the same thing, and solve a problem, you, you 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 launch yourself into another one, into into a bigger problem. So uh, now that we have removed some city, it's like uh, the palliative they are bring, they are trying to bring is on ending. So now they bring a, a student loan so that it can serve as a kind of palliative to the students. But unfortunately, uh, the policy itself is not critical. Uh, analyzed mm. uh, uh, mm. uh, proposed because when you look at the criteria that surrounds uh, the student's loan, uh, it is unaccessible. Uh, when you say that um, uh, uh, anybody who wants to access the loan, uh, such a person's parents must not be earning up to 500 naira uh, per annum. So it means if a, 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 a father and a mother are Earning thirty thousand naira minimum wage each principal or criteria attached to it will deny many to Then it means we are not facing reality. If we are facing reality, we will know that um, anybody who is earning below five hundred naira per annum now. Uh, is a very 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 low Nigeria. I regard I regard such a person as a long pain. Uh, in one of my books, I categorize existence of Nigerians, I mean, class of Nigerians since before. Uh, the the Bojos, the proletariat, uh, the peasants, and the Lumping. Mm. So if you belong to the Lumping class, uh, you should be pitied in society. And the number of people belonging to Lumping in the society, uh, according to me, in Nigeria, a bizarre contraption. Uh, people like um, uh, prostitutes, uh, unemployed graduates and so on and so. So if, if a working class is not earning up to 500,000 naira in a year, Nigerian government should be ashamed uh, of themselves. It means they actually understand uh, what is going on in Nigeria and the hardship we are facing. So the student's loan is not an exemption. Uh, it's a policy that is dead on arrival because people mm. will run away from it. When you mm. look at the, 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 the criteria that a lawyer of 10 years practice or somebody on level 12, I mean, a, a director uh, in a public service should sign for you. Nobody wants to sign that. If any child brings that to me now, I don't think I'm willing to sign that. I will repeat two years after completion of NYC, uh, they can go to jail or refer to the people of course, not yes, that he or she would be provided a job because the job is not even there. There's no job anywhere in Nigeria now. So I think the government is not sincere. 
by their proposal of uh, the uh, student loan. And finally, if you look at them, uh, uh, the news this morning, it was uh, revealed that many universities in Nigeria are now jacking up their uh, school fee uh, by 300%. So it's like giving from the right hand and those chips cannot bring about a good standard to Nigeria. Yes, um, uh, all, all you said is quite uh, true, and uh, you know, uh, but but I want to understand uh, um, if your statement says uh, that you know this is a, a policy dead on arrival, um, which means uh, that uh, it wasn't properly think through. Uh, would you agree with that, or maybe it was just uh, something the government uh, wants uh, people to water the 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 truth of uh, people? feeling maybe they will be happy with it. I mean, do you see even the possibility? It has, it has, I, I, I'm not seeing the possibility, and it has always been like that. Uh, government in Nigeria, as I said earlier, uh, don't uh, think through a policy before uh, they assert them, uh, because all the yen is to uh, occupy a public office without necessarily uh, preparing adequately for such office. And that is what we have been uh, battling with. So I, I don't think the policy is going to work uh, because um, except except they do mod uh, modifications here and there uh, to really polish the policy up. Uh, if not, I, as I've said, I'm not seeing students being able to access it. And um, if they will, the complexities around the policy is uh, trafficking to the, the fact that um, that policy is not going to serve the downtrodden uh, because um, uh, even uh, passing through uh, the uh, students' uh, affairs units of each university to be able to access it will bring about uh, cumbersomeness in such a way that it will even uh, land in favoritism and nepotism in such a way that it will become who is who, who is going to get the loan. And uh, the manner of paying back, I don't, I don't think is realizable. Uh, in this era of JAPA, the Nigerian students, uh, immediately after completion of their school, uh, always yearning to go abroad. I don't think there's a way of um, getting back the loan. If you remember uh, the COVID-19 loan of 500,000 Naira that was given to Nigerians by uh, Mohamed Buhari's government, the government is not even asking people to pay back now. I, I know so many people who got that loan and uh, there was even no way of uh, pay paying back. Nobody is even asking. Mm. Uh, if you remember the, the trader's money that mm. uh, the former, former vice president distributed around uh, in the rundown to 2018 general election, who is asking for the repair of 10,000 naira now? So mm. the same way, I do not think government really serious. It's really serious about uh, students paying back. It's just another way of um, of, of wasting Nigerian uh, uh, patrimony. So I do not think there is adequate plan making sure the money is paid back we've seen nigerians uh, you know uh, funds so um, you you see this uh, as yes. another corrupt uh, corrupt laden uh, policy that will only favor some particular set of people in the society and not favor you know the majority as it's supposed to be it's just like empowering certain group of people again you know mm. Uh, and, and for so many decades now, we pretend to be fighting corruption. So you remove some people from looting, you bring uh, the new set of people to continue the loot. It is the people that change. The system, the looting system has never changed. Mm. If you remember uh, the school feeding policy of Muhammadu Buhari, uh, we knew those who fe uh, fed fat uh, from that policy, from ministers to permanent secretaries to directors and so on and so forth. Not that. Nigerians benefited it. I am from Kwara. I, I investigated so many schools. No school, I can say categorically, in Kwara State benefited from uh, feeding uh, a, a policy of, of government. And in, this, in states where they benefited, they complained that uh, they would just feed few schools and forget about the rest. And uh, during uh, COVID-19 lockdown, uh, the humanitarian, uh, the Minister of Humanitarian uh, services announced the relationship. She spent, I think, billions of naira to feed children that were at home. 
that we're not even going to school. So uh, same uh, way, um, I do not uh, think um, so, um, so that not we may have to go on break right now. Come on. back to you. Um, we'll have to take this a uh, very short uh, break and come back uh, with the rest of the questions. Uh, I'll go for a very short break now and I'll be right back. Welcome back. Uh, yes, uh, Abdul Latif uh, Ishawa is a political analyst and he's been answering questions uh, based on the student loan. And yes, you've raised uh, some certain things. Uh, how this can actually create uh, a corrupt wealth for some minor individuals. Uh, let us look at uh, the possibilities of organizing a, a, a loan or maybe a grant to students, uh, you know, to be able to help uh, the educational sector, especially for those who are at the bottom, you know, table or uh, bo bottom ladder of, uh, you know, of uh, the economy, uh, the masses uh, itself. So what are the things you think, uh, what, what do you think the government should do adequately? You know, what, what they should do that will be effective and, uh, you know, it well, will not it, it, in any way you know, affect any anybody's uh, future or affect uh, even citizens. They can easily relate to it. We can, we can solve something in the mathematics and attempt to solve uh, an equation, a given bigger one, you find yourself in com complexity of logjam. Mm. Uh, since they don't really work hard to know formulas being applied to simultaneous equation of Nigerian problem, they always run into trouble whenever they want to bring out a policy. Uh -huh. So what I actually feel serious governments should do is to start with a summit. A government cannot know it all. As it is now, Tinobu's administration does not even have a cabinet yet. Uh -huh. No ministers that can that can really work this thing out. So they need education. So even when there is there are ministers, they need education summits in such a way that stakeholders in the education sector will participate. For instance, uh, vice chancellors of university, uh. former vice chancellors, uh, permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education, directors, parents, principals of federal government colleges, representatives of each state, critical stakeholders in education in each state, like subject chairman of each state, commissioner for education in each state and so on and so forth. Imagine where you will have um, a, a, a summit that will have experts in the field of education, professors of education of repute. Uh, even if they are not professors of education, once they, you are a professor, you know what is happening in the university system. Imagine a summit in the education sector having people like Olesho in Kabbalah, Jiaki, Emi and the rest. Mm. So where we'll be able to sit and talk about first how we can implement United Nations recommendation of dedicating to this annual budget. How and the 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 the, the director, I mean the uh, uh, yes, executive secretary of Ted Fund will be on seat in that summit, and let him or her be part of how we can use Ted Fund more effectively to bring support to Nigerian education system. That one shouldn't be about building, constructing building alone. What about the human, the people that should enjoy the, the education sector? So where you'll be able to analyze how education sector can be critically taken care of. For instance, now, by now we should be achieving free, total free education in primary and secondary education. But if tertiary education is, to be, is going to be well paid for, the minimum wage of workers must be able to take care of students who are going to enter university system. Hmm. For instance, in Kwara State, a level eight officer in Kwara State is taking 44,000 Naira. Hmm. And the school fee of Kwara State University is around 200,000 Naira. Hmm. That is un un unrealistic. Who will are children of civil servants? Sorry, uh, we might want to end the interview here now the network is quite bad but uh, at least uh, you have said so much about uh, the uh, you know student loan i want to thank you so much uh, for your time i'm sorry for we have to end the interview right this uh, but it is uh, quite uh, good that you have given this uh, kind of insight into the student loan and what the government uh, should do
and uh, that is a wrap up from the program itself uh, today my name is george wanderze i'll see you some other time